It's known as the Minot Alliance of Nonprofits, and that's a collaborative group of people made up, making up different local nonprofits, working together to find ways to better the Magic City community. And joining me now to talk about the Alliance and some of their upcoming events is Ellen Fenner, who works with the Alliance as the executive director of the Minot Symphony Association. Ellen, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So with your role, I guess you wear a few hats and you stay plenty busy, but uh, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the outreach that the nonprofits do as part of the town. So the big thing that we do every year is that we host our annual community recognition luncheon and we opened up nominations to the general public. And then we have a panel of judges who review the nominations and choose three finalists. And then those three finalists go to our members of the Alliance and they choose the winner every year. That uh, those uh, sort of nominations, that must have been sort of challenging, but also enjoyable and fun to kind of read through some of those as far as getting that from the neighborhood. But what's the feedback been like as far as looking over some of those uh, some of those worthy you know, names on the list? You know, it's it truly is a celebration of the nonprofits because there's so many people that go through the work every day behind the scenes, just doing their thing. And to be recognized by an individual through nomination is truly an honor. And it's really fun just to celebrate, celebrate those that are working in nonprofits. And it's not only just our leaders, but also our board members, um, some of our supporters throughout the community. So there's just a wide variety of individuals and organizations that were nominated for awards this year. You did mention the luncheon coming up, one of those events when you can give a special thanks and some kudos to some of the people working hard around town. But the luncheon itself, uh, what can you say? What's your expectations? Are you expecting a pretty packed house for it? Well, last year when we held it, it was also in November, and it was like it was last week. It was almost a blizzard the day that we had it, but we still had over 200 people show up for the luncheon to support to support the nonprofit community. So it was great. We're hoping to do the same this year, hopefully without the blizzard. Weather permitting and everything else, is there anything else you're trying to put out there for people who might be want to mark their calendars for the luncheon itself or anything as far as if someone wants to get involved and be part of the crowd? Yeah, absolutely. It's open to the public. Uh, tickets are just $25 for an individual seat, or you can get a table of eight for $200. Um, the it, tickets will be on sale now through next Wednesday, um, November 7th, and um, you can get those at eventbrite.com. And we're going to be have a special guest. We're going to have Mr. Patrick Kirby from Do Good Better Consulting out of Fargo, who's going to be our speaker. And if you haven't heard Patrick before, he's definitely somebody that you want to put on your radar and come and join us for a great afternoon celebrating nonprofits. It sounds like one of those days when you talk about the event itself, it's a chance for people to get out, uh, have a nice little sit down meal, maybe make a few friends and at least get a few laughs out of the deal and find out about some groups around Minot. Is there anything else about it itself that you're really trying to put the word out about? I think that the nonprofits, one of the things that Patrick likes to say about nonprofits is that it's really the, the work that the, the community provided to the community that the government can't and won't do. So nonprofits are truly your all those fundraising events that you go to, without the nonprofits, that would not be possible. The nonprofits work hard to make your community a one, a special place to live in. Our guest once again is Ellen Fenner, who if you know the Minot area well, you know she's very active with the Minot Symphony Association. Ellen, I want to thank you so much again for joining us and best of luck. Good weather permitting that they have a nice kickoff for the luncheon itself. And thanks again and hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks so much, you as well.